This is an operating systems question based upon process scheduling. We have been given four processes P, Q, R and S which are all scheduled in the CPU using round robin algorithm. The time quantum used is four units and these processes have arrived in the same order P, Q, R and S. All at the same time T equal to zero means the arrival time for all of them is the same. And now they are mentioning what are the context switches we will be encountering in this schedule. So there is exactly one context switch from S to Q, exactly one from R to Q and exactly two from Q to R. Apart from these, we might encounter some other context switches as well, but we will definitely not have S to P. This context switch is not allowed. So now they are saying that switching to a ready process after the termination of another process is also considered a con context switch. So this is what we generally follow that even if one process has completed its execution and then other is there in the queue which is going to be scheduled next, then we count that to be a context switch as well. So now which of the following is not possible as the CPU burst time for these processes. So in these options we have been given burst times of all the processes and using that we need to determine that which of them is not possible given the scenario. So let us look at option A. The burst times they have given are 4, 10, 6 and 2. Let us try to construct the Gantt chart for this option and see if all the constraints are being followed. We will also be maintaining a queue over here. So for the first we will schedule process P. Its burst time will reduce to 0. That will be pushed to the queue. And by the time it executed, all of the others had arrived. So they are being pushed. And now since P's quantum has reduced to zero, the burst time, it does not need to be pushed again to the queue. So we simply pop it off. Next, we'll have Q up to eight. This becomes six, pop and push. Next, we have R up to 12. This reduces to two, pop and push. Next, we have S up to 14 because we take the least of time quantum and the burst time. So for S, we take 2, it reduces to 0 and no need to push that again. Next, we have Q in the front of the Q. So we take that and schedule it up to 18. It reduces to 2. After that, we have R. And this is Q is pushed again. Now we are at R up to 20. 0 and finally we will be having the last Q. So up to 22. So this is the entire schedule we got. And let us see which of the constraints are being followed. SQ. Yes, it is followed over here. The second one which is RQ. It is followed. Then QR followed. And one more QR followed over here. And this one is SP. We do not have any transition like SP. So basically all the four constraints are followed and hence this is a, a correct combination of burst times we can have for these processes. So now let us look at the option 2. The given burst times are 2, 9, 5 and 1. Let us again construct the Gantt chart for this option and maintain the Q. So we'll start with P and execute it up to 2 because it is having only Two units of burst time so it is pushed all are pushed and it is popped off no need to push again then we have q up to six because two plus four six which is the time quantum and now this reduces to five pop and push then we have r up to ten this becomes one pop and push then s up to eleven just pop it no need to push again because it's zero now. So we have Q up to 15 reduces to one pop and push. Then we have R up to 16. It becomes zero pop. And finally we have Q up to 17. Now let us check in this option if the constraints are being followed. The first one SQ. Yes, that exists. Next context, which is RQ that is also there. Then we have QR and QR. So all the four are followed in this one as well. Now let us have a look at the third option, which is 4, 12, 5 and 4. We have the 
burst times of these processes as 4 12 5 and 4 and what were the context switches we were considering sq rq qr and qr and sp was not allowed so let us check for this one using round robin algorithm with tq equal to 4 this is our q first we'll be pushing p up to 4 this becomes 0 p q r s over here next we push q up to 8 this becomes 8 q then we have r up to 12 this becomes 1 pop and push next we have s 16 0 pop next we have q 20 4 r 21 0 and finally s 25 sorry this is q so let us check the constraints now sq followed rq is also followed qr and qr so all the four are followed sp is not present so that is also followed now let us have a look at the last option neither of these three were correct so definitely the last one has to be but let us check it out for the last option d the burst times given were 3 7 7 and 3 let's check for that this is our gantt chart and the q we start with scheduling p up to 3 0 p q r s p removed next q up to 7 this becomes 3 pop push r up to 11 this becomes 3 pop and push now s up to 14 0 pop next we have q up to 17 0 pop finally r up to 20 so we are done now let us check out the constraints sq is followed rq is not followed so this one is causing the problem the constraint is not being followed in the option d and hence the correct option we will be reporting as our answer is d